Hey you guys, welcome back. Oh hello, if you're new, today we are going to be comparing the print of two companies and that is going to be Ingram Spark and KDP. I know there's a lot of videos out there that have already done this and I've done it myself. If you have not checked out that video, I will link it here for you guys to check out. And I just wanted to put my two cents into it because I've never done a novel comparison. The other one that I uploaded to Ingram Spark and KDP before was a reference um, book. And if you have not checked it out, make sure you check it out because something happened with that quality of that book and it was pretty interesting. So go check it out if you have not. But right now let's focus on what I think about the quality of these two books uploaded, one on KDP and one on Ingram Spark. So let's first start with quality. So I do the formattings of my books myself and I uploaded the book to KDP and this is the way it looks like and this is the way it looks like with Ingram Spark. The first thing that I notice is how much thinner one book is than the other. I don't know if you can tell but the book is really, this is Ingram Spark and it's really thin compared to uh, the one in KDP and at first I thought I did something wrong because I'm looking at this and I'm like what is wrong with it did I skip some chapters did I delete some chapters by accident did the pages get deleted did it not upload properly but to date I cannot find why the book is so much thinner with Ingram Spark than it is with KDP. So if you guys have any idea, if you have uploaded your manuscript with either one of these platforms and or with both of the platforms and you have a similar problem, let me know in the comments below why that is. But you know, that's the first thing I notice. The next thing I notice is that the book, the book is darker with Ingram Spark, the ink, and the color is like, I guess, more vivid than it is with KDP. And I ordered this KDP. I've had it uploaded for a long time. So I had this copy forever. And then this one just came in. So I'm used to this color. So when it came in, I just thought it was a little darker and it kind of threw me off. So I prefer the KDP version. But again, that might just be my preference and it might just be because I'm used to seeing this book. I've been, I've had it for a few months now since it was published and this is brand new to me. So that's just a preference thing. I don't know if it's a, a good or bad thing. It's just my opinion. I like the KDP version better. By the way, I have my notes written down here. So if you see me looking down, that is what I'm doing. And let me straighten the camera because it looks like it's a little crooked. Okay. I think that's better. Okay. Um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is cost. To print the Ingram Spark version is going to cost me $12.09. To print the KDP version, it's going to cost me $8.46. That means there's a $3.63 difference. So obviously, the KDP version is a much better deal. Not to mention that to upload your book to KDP, it is absolutely free versus $49 every time you upload your book to Ingram Spark. So that's a no good thing. <laughs> the next thing we're going to talk about is user friendly. I think that Ingram Spark's website and just the way that you have to handle your books once they're published going forward, it is not very user friendly. I think KDP is much easier, geared nicely towards indie authors, especially if you're not really like techie like I am. I, I love KDP. I think they're very easy to work with. And so I prefer KDP versus Ingram Spark as far as their website and dealing with any issues that I might have thereafter. So you might be wondering, what's the point of uploading to Ingram Spark when KDP is so user-friendly, it's so much cheaper, and the quality is just as good or even better than Ingram Spark? There are two reasons why we might want to upload to Ingram Spark. One is that you can do pre-orders with Ingram Spark for paperback at the moment of recording this video. KDP does not have that option. You can only do pre-orders on ebook, and that is, you know, having pre-orders is valuable. So I hope that KDP gets on that as soon as possible because I think that's um, that's just something that's missing with them. And I know previously another reason why people were uploading with Ingram is because they don't have hard covers, but now they do. So that's a good thing that they've, you know, progressed and moved on with 
you know, making things easier and better for us in the authors. And the main reason I think a lot of us are uploading with Ingram Spark is because of the expanded distribution portion of it. Even though with KDP, they do have an expanded distribution um, section, it doesn't work for bookstores. For example, there's a section in Ingram Spark that allows the seller of a bookstore to return the books or destroy the books if they are not um, selling in their store if they no longer want them. Amazon does not currently currently have that feature, so and bookstores will not order from Amazon. They will only only order from a distribution company like Ingram Spark, and that is the reason why I uploaded these books to Ingram Spark right now because I just booked my first book signing for 2022 at a local bookstore, and they require that the books be uploaded with a company like Ingram Spark. So. I know that having books in a bookstore is important and it's, and it's fun to walk in a store and see your books, but as an indie author, I sometimes feel like our market is online. Everybody orders from Amazon. Everybody's, you know, even if you go into a bookstore, unless you're there trying to help a small bookstore grow or you just have to have the book right now, a lot of us will go into a bookstore and then still check the price on Amazon to see if it's cheaper. So. I don't know going forward if that is something I will do. I don't know. I don't want to say that it's not important for me to have books in bookstores. It is very important. I, I would love to walk into a bookstore and see my books in Barnes & Noble. And I would love for somebody to be walking Barnes & Noble and pick up my book. Very, very important someday. But I don't know if that day is right now. Right now, these two books are up there. And that's fine. But I don't know if my future books, especially the one that I'm trying to publish next, will be going through Ingram Spark. This is another problem that I came across because I did publish these books through Amazon first and then I uploaded them through Ingram Spark. One of the problems that I was coming across is that I couldn't merge the two. So if you go on Amazon, you'll see that there's two versions of choose us so one will be sold with kdp the other one will be sold through ingram spark and the problem with that is that if i change the price on this book right here on the kdp version i have to go on ingram spark and change the book here and i just don't know if they're always going to coincide at the same time if i want to run a sale i don't even know how to do that through kate through ingram spark so i it was complicated and I don't know if it was worth it for me at the time. I think I'm excited about the bookstore and since the books are now with Ingram Spark, I would probably go ahead and do more bookstores. But this is what I want to say. If you're more into like going to book conferences or um, festivals and markets and things like that, you can just order a ton of um, inventory from Amazon and then you take it to the market where you're going and then you whatever you don't sell you bring back home you don't have to do it through Ingram Spark I think you can order um, up to 100 books from Amazon I don't know I'll look it up and I'll pop it right here if I find the answer but you can order a large inventory from Amazon if that's what you choose to do if you're going to a flea market or you're going to a book conference or whatever it is that you're going to sell your books you don't have to upload it to Ingram Sparks just so that you can order them all right you guys well that is it for today's video in my comparing of the two markets Ingram Spark versus KDP to me KDP always wins I love KDP I think it's it's so much cheaper it's you know it's so user-friendly um, Customer service is great and I don't know. I just I just prefer KDP. So I think I'm going to stick with KDP for now unless things change with Ingram Spark. And that is it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below letting me know your experience with either one of these books, especially if you know either one of these markets, especially if you know why it would be thinner than the one with KDP. No idea. That is it. I will see you guys again in a brand new video next time. Until then, stay safe.